North Dakota National Guard was a part of the response effort during the 2011 floods. Their equipment was essential to the fight. Since then, the Guard has been continuously training and preparing for the next time they're needed. National Guard members left their belongings on the riverbank and waded into the water. More than 120 soldiers have been out here at Kimball Bottoms all weekend conducting boating exercises and building bridges. Well, as the National Guard, you know, we we get uh, a fairly limited number of training days in the year, so taking advantage of these nice um, days in the summer helps us maintain and improve our readiness. Exercises like this one are conducted once or twice a year. We have two missions, either to the federal uh, President Trump or to the governor, uh, Governor Burgum. So whether the state or nation calls, we're just preparing our readiness so when we get the call. Readiness means preparing for all sorts of natural disasters, including floods. For us in the 957, if there was a flood, using our river or our boats to do river patrols or help with any river rescues that might be needed. Today, they are building a bridge that would help state resources cross the river if needed. You've got a 90 ton tank or so. Uh, they're not going to float. They're not going to be able to ford across it. So you need to bring in these assets to make sure that uh, we can get those uh, forces to where they need to be. It's all in preparation for a much longer annual training session. So our two weeks is when it gives us such a chance to really give us our litmus test and where we stand, how ready are we to perform our mission. So North Dakotans can rest assured the Guard will be hard at work preparing to assist us in the next natural disaster. Renee Cooper, KX News. Kimball Bottoms will remain closed through Sunday afternoon when the Guard completes their mission.